Alright, so my final haul is going to be a That Smell Good Shop haul. And it's decently sized. Um, she doesn't have a uh, business card, or at least I didn't receive one. So, she did send two samples. So, the first one is the best, oh, sorry, the best damn cinnamon. And you guys know how I feel about spices. It's a cinnamon. I mean, there's a little bit of sugar in it, so it's not like a straight up cinnamon stick. It's more like a little bit of a cinnamon sugar, but I'm still not too huge on that one. And then the other one she sent is pumpkin caramel latte. And you guys know how I feel about coffee. I'm not too big on that either. And yeah, it's, I mean, it's a lot better than a lot of other coffee scents because it's more of a latte. And it's mixed with pumpkin and caramel, so it's a little bit more tolerable. And it doesn't smell like burnt coffee beans, so this one's a lot nicer than a lot of the other coffee scents I've smelled. But again, not my favorite. So that is that. And I'll start off with um, the ones that I repurchased. All the ones that I repurchased, I purchased them in um, the packs. So the little cube packs rather than the scent shots. So I'll start off with those. So I'll start off with the smaller ones. I'll start off with the... Um, the two ounce ones let me just all right so the um six packs are 295 for a total of what says is two ounces which I, but i think it's a little bit more than two ounces if i'm being honest it looks like a little bit more but anyways the first one i have here is in lemonade And, I mean, it smells, it smells different than, like, lemonade that everyone else has. It's a little bit sweeter and creamier than a lot of the lemonade that's out there. A lot of the other lemonade blends are really, like, are that lemon fizzy scent. This one, I don't know if it doesn't have a fizzy scent, but it definitely isn't very prominently fizzy. And it's more of a sweet, creamy lemon, so that one's really nice. Then I got Georgia Peach. This is the only peach scent that I found that I can I actually quite like. And I find it's similar to like a peach juice scent. It's very similar to Yankee Candles peach. So it's really nice. Um it's more of it's definitely more of a peach juice than it is just like a like a fresh peach or like a I don't know. But I like it because I really like like the juicy peach, like the peach juice kind of peach scent. Then we have Egyptian Musk. And this one is a really, really nice, like, just soft, musky, slightly floral scent. It's really, really pretty. Then I got Fake Clean, which I wish I got in a 16 pack because it is so good. Oh, it's just their lemon clean scent. I absolutely love this. It's like a lemon laundry. And um, it was a really big hit in my household. Then I have Love Spell, which is just plain, you know, Love Spell. Yeah, it smells like Love Spell. It smells exactly like smells Love Spell. It's a little bit sh better of a Love Spell than the Hayden Rell Love Spell, actually. Then we have Blueberry Pops, and this is Blueberry and Cake Pops. Mmm, so good. It's just a really good blueberry bakery cake scent. Delicious. Then we have Granny Smith, which is just a green apple scent. And yeah, this one's a really tart green apple. So there's that one. Then I have Snow White, which is supposed to be a dupe of the So White Bath Bomb from Lush. And it, I mean, it is, yeah, it's very, very accurate. Okay, then I have White Peach Spa, which is a really nice peach, like a peach clean. It almost reminds me of fake clean, but mixed with peach. It's almost like a peach lemon laundry kind of scent. It's really nice. Then we have Cucumber Splash, and Cucumber Splash is a blend of cucumber apples and green notes. And it's just nice and refreshing 
it's really nice that one then I have Galaga which is supposed to be a dupe of Luscious Calacas and yeah it's that it's a really nice almost like lime candy scent really really nice and then the last few things I got are 16 packs and 16 packs are 750 they it says that they are six ounces but it does like yeah because like the reason it's weird that these are two ounces is because these are the same size so if this comes in a six pack and this is supposed to be two ounces right then this that means it's four ounces but that means there should be two more cubes to make it a full six ounce so i feel like it's definitely more than just six ounces if i'm being honest i think that's just what it says on the label i actually haven't weighed it i probably should but yeah so the first one i have is just pink sugar and it's just a plain you know like pink sugar classic pink sugar and hers is pretty is very authentic to the perfume as well then I have Avoclean. Her Avoclean is so good. It's so strong. It's so accurate to Lush's Avo Bath. I really, really like that. It's just a great lemongrass. Then I got blue pom poms, which you guys know if you watched my last what I've been melting slash empties for the end of March. That I'm actually not too huge on this one. On cold, I really liked it. On warm, it is way, way, way too sweet. So I'll probably be splitting this one with a friend or something. Then the last one I have is Ultimate Lemon and it's a really nice lemon scent it's not like a lemon curd it's more of a fresh lemon than anything and it's really really nice so yes those are all the repurchase scents that i got from her and all of like the bigger little packs so everything else that i have is a scent shot so i'm going to push some of these back and then i'll be back with the scent shots Alright guys, I am back with the second part of this haul, and again, sorry about the lighting, I had to turn my lamp on because it started to rain and it's cloudy outside and the sun literally disappeared. So, ooh, okay, so, uh, I'll get started. So I have categorized these kind of like I did with the Hayden Row haul. So I'll start off with, what are these? These are drink scents, I think. So, ooh. The first one I have here is Twisted Blackberry Tea. This is supposed to be citrus blackberry and tea. And yeah, I really like her blackberry and it's just a good citrus tea scent. So that is that one. Then I have Pomegranate Punch which is pomegranate and a fruit concoction very interesting it's definitely a little bit sickly sweet but we'll see how that one does when it melts i don't know if i think it might just be her pomegranate i think i might not like it very much then i have twisted peach tea which is peach and citrus tea yeah it's like that citrusy tea it's almost like it's kind of like a white tea mixed with a little bit of like nest tea or brisk or something. So it's not like a fully like um, lemon iced tea, but there's a little bit of that in there. But you do get like an actual like white tea scent. Okay, then the next scent shots I'll do are like anything that's minty. So the first one I have is just straight up peppermint. And this one smells a little bit like gum, actually. It doesn't smell very much like a peppermint that I would like. Yeah, it really just smells kind of like gum, so this one's definitely not a favorite. Then I have Jack Frost, which is supposed to be a Yankee Candle dupe. And it's supposed to be menthol, vanilla, and eucalyptus. And I really like it. With that vanilla, it's just a really, really nice minty blend yeah it's very nice I, I really really like it okay then we have peppermint and eucalyptus and I got this one because I really liked um, her eucalyptus but I don't like this 
the eucalyptus that she uses is very in this blend is very green whereas i've had eucalyptus from her before just plain eucalyptus and it's not as green okay then i have summer fruit and mint and this is a blend of mango mint papaya and strawberry and yeah it's good very fruity i really get that strawberry and the mango and the papaya and then you get a little bit of that mint it's really nice I've really been loving these like fruity mint blends similar to like um, the bathing gardens melon and mint or whatever else in mint I've really been liking those kind of scents and then we have sinus soother which I believe this one's supposed to just be like a camphor you mint and it really is it really just smells kind of like camphor so there is that one then we have lavender mint and this one's really nice. Um, the lavender in here, I feel like is different from the normal lavender that she uses in some of her blends. It's more of an herbal lavender. And it smells a lot more authentic, too. It's really nice. And then you get a little bit of that mint. It's a really, really nice authentic lavender with a slight mint. It is heavier on the mint, though. So if you're not too into lavender mint just because you're, you don't really like a heavy mint, that one's a good one. Okay, then the next ones I have are all of my lavender or relaxing kind of sleepy time melts. So the first one I have is pink lavender mallow, which is obviously pink sugar, lavender, and marshmallow. And yeah, it's really good. I do get the pink sugar. I get the marshmallow and I get the lavender. I mean, it's pretty generic if I'm going to be on. Oh, that one almost fell. Okay, then I have oatmeal, milk, and honey. And, yeah, it smells like oatmeal, milk, and honey. If you've ever smelt that, it's, a, I feel like it's a very generic kind of fragrance. It's kind of something that I feel like everyone smelled at least some point. Okay, then I have just her plain lavender. A lot more herbal. I think I have her soothing lavender, and that one's a little bit more soapy. Whereas this one is her plain straight up lavender is a lot more herbal, so that one's really nice. And then I got lavender and chamomile. That one's really nice. The chamomile just makes it a really nice, softer, creamier lavender. It's really, really pretty. Okay. So that one's that one. Then I have lavender milk. And this one's really pretty. I think this is a lavender and coconut milk blend. Really pretty. It's a lot stronger on the coconut milk than the lavender, but it's good. Really, really good. Okay, then the next ones I have are like all of my sweeter scents. So any like, I think like pink sugar and just like sweeter ones. So the first one I have is pink watermelon, which is obviously just pink sugar and watermelon. And this one's good. It's pink sugar it's watermelon it is mostly the watermelon in my opinion but obviously every nose smells something different it's obviously just kind of what you pick up first too though I feel like okay then I have mallow mallow puffs sorry not mallow fluffs and yeah I mean it smells like a really good marshmallow scent yeah I mean, it's pretty generic. It smells very similar to Tiffany Candles' marshmallow, plain marshmallow. Um, I'm literally getting wax everywhere. Wow. Okay. Okay, so then I have Deliciously Pink. And this one is Fluffy Pink Sweetness. So I actually don't know, like, what is supposed to be in here. I don't know if... Um, it's like pink sugar or what but I do get some pink sugar like maybe cotton candy but I can't really tell exactly because the scent description doesn't really say but I do definitely get a pink sugar in here so it's a little bit softer than just a plain pink sugar and then I have pink peppermint And this one, um, I don't 
don't know how I feel about this one. It's that kind of gummy peppermint again that I was t that um, I was talking about earlier and just her plain peppermint, the plain peppermint scent shot. Yeah, it's not a very good peppermint, um, and it's her own peppermint mixed with pink sugar, and it's just not very yummy. It's um, it just kind of smells like gum and pink sugar. So I mean, if you like that, then you'll like that one, but it's not a very good pink peppermint, at, at least not for me. Then I got Vanilla Bean, and this one is just a really, really strong, really good vanilla scent. I don't have to smell that one. I remember what that one smells like. Then I have Pink Boxers, and this is supposed to be a pink sugar and lavender blend. Or pink sugar and clean linen blend, sorry. And yeah, it definitely smells like clean linen. Definitely stronger on the, the laundry scent, though, than the pink sugar. Okay, then I have Pink Ballerina, and this one is Raspberry and Pink Sugar. This one's nice. Her raspberry is very, almost candy-like, so this one's a really, really nice blend. I really like this one. Okay, then the next ones I have are like the fruity ones. So the first one I have is Cocoa Mandarin, which is coconut and mandarin. Um, I don't really think I like her mandarin. I like her coconut. It's creamy. It's a good coconut. It's not too overpowering. It's not like a coconut lotion kind of scent. But the mandarin, I'm not a huge fan of. There's just something very green about it. There's, yeah, there's just like a green note to the mandarin that I'm really not into. Oh, things are falling. Okay. Then I have cocoa mango, which is just coconut and mango. And this one's a lot nicer. The mango is really fruity, a little bit citrusy. It's a really, really good coconut and mango blend. Then I have her, just her plain raspberry. And I don't know why the focus is being so annoying today, but yeah, like I said, her raspberry is just a really, it's really nice. It's like a little bit sugary, a little bit fruity. It's nice, a little bit tart. Very interesting. I definitely think I like it better blended with the pink sugar um, than on its own, but it's not bad. Then I have Juicy Pear. Alright, so this one is really nice. It's a really nice pear scent. Um, most pear scents, I feel like, smell very similar to apple scents, but just a little different. And I feel like this one is no different. It's just kind of like a slight apple scent, but a little bit different. It's nice though, I like it. Definitely a little tart. Then I just have her plain blackberry. Hello! I don't know why the focus is being this annoying, but it is. And this one's very sweet. It's a very sweet blackberry. It's not tart or fruity. It's just kind of very sweet. But I like it. Okay. Then we have Key Lime. And this one is really nice. Something about it reminds me of like the Fizzy Pop. Without like the lemon. But uh... A little bit less cloying like not as intense but very similar to like the fizzy pop slime kind of scent then I have plain pomegranate and oh wax is literally getting everywhere I can't I really do need to vacuum my bedroom floor at this point it's just it's a mess Okay, I like this one. Let me see. I The only issue I have with um, that Smell Good shop or Wilma's is it's always so hard to get the scent shot out of the scent shot, if that makes sense. Like, it's so hard to pop it out, and then once you do, it literally just crumbles everywhere, because if she over, if she gets into the, if she gets into this ridge, I don't know if you can see, hold on, let's focus. 
this ridge right here where you can see a little bit of the wax residue sitting if she gets it in that ridge and you pop it out it literally crumbles everywhere it's so annoying but the plain pomegranate here is nice yeah it smells a little bit different there's something a little bit creamy about it and i always like to smell the bottom of sun shots but because i know that small good shop it'll like the wax will always crumble i i only open the top because i don't want wax literally all over my floor because literally look i literally just open it and there's already like shit crumbling everywhere but this one is hello blueberry which is a blend of lemon shortbread and blueberry and i really like the blueberry in here and the lemon shortbread is very interesting because it's definitely more of like a foodie lemon, but it's, in my opinion, the lemon shortbread isn't a very bakery scent overall. It kind of smells a little bit like, um, like a candied lemon or something. I don't know. It's quite citrusy. Oh, shit's falling. But I like it. I mean, it's nice. Um, I just wouldn't say it's bakery. I'm just going to ignore that and just keep going. Okay, then I have honeydew melon, which, I mean, smells like honeydew melon. Very nice. A little bit more of a fresh honeydew melon than like a super sugary one. Yeah, it's a very fresh honeydew melon, which is, which is like, I'm not complaining. I like honeydew melon in like all forms, so that's nice. Okay, this just that in its little pile <laughs> and then I have juicy melon pear which is a blend of I believe honeydew and her juicy pear and that's really really good you get a little bit of that tart pear with that nice like creamier sweeter melon I really like that one on cold snap then I have strawberry fields which is strawberry and herbal lavender. Oh, I did not realize that that was an herbal blend. Okay. A lavender blend, sorry. Um, I definitely get the herbal lavender. And her strawberry seems very sweet. So it's an interesting mixture. Because it's a very, very sweet strawberry mixed with like an herbal lavender. The next ones I have are like the clean and fresh ones. So we have Gain Original. Which I don't, I've never smelt like Gain or any of these detergents. So honestly, whenever I sniff stuff that's like Gain or whatever, I have no idea what it's supposed to smell like. But I mean, I mean, yeah, it smells like laundry, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if it's accurate or not. I just know if it smells like laundry and it does. I have Blackberry Sage. This one I said fresh because the blackberry is fruity, yes. But the sage is quite strong. It's quite herbal and intense so I put it into the fresh version because it's a little bit more green a little bit more herbal I'm not a huge fan of that one if I'm being honest then I have the classic just cactus and sea salt because I've never smelt it on its own and I want to know what it smells like just like on its own and it's nice it's a little bit fresh air kind of with a little bit of like a sweet grass but it's mostly fresh air you don't really get a lot of like a grassy green note to it whatsoever then I have Spa Retreat, and this one is Black Currant, Lemongrass, Lime, and Herbal Notes. I really get the, that lemongrass in it. I get the lime. I get Black Currant. I don't know if I necessarily get Herbal Notes, but I will say the star of this is the lemongrass and the Black Currant. It's very nice. That Black Currant makes it a little bit fruitier. Then I have Rainforest Spa, which I can already tell you I don't like. This one is a blend of grapefruit and citrus and bamboo. Ugh. Blah, blah, blah. It's very green. I hate that one. Okay. Then I have Downy Fresh. And hello. <laughs> and I again, I don't know what this one's supposed to smell like. But this one smells more like dryer sheets. It has more of that clean cotton, like fresh out of the dryer smell. Then I have Downy Clean Breeze, which, again, not really sure. This one's a little fruitier. It's less cottony, a little bit more fun. I like this one. Okay, now 
I'll move into like my floral or perfume fragrances. So I have four of them. Here we have Jasmine Tuberose because I love Jasmine and I love Tuberose. This is pretty, but it definitely does not smell real or accurate. It's quite a fake floral scent. Um, here I just have like plain Jasmine. Uh, I'm not a fan of the plain Jasmine. I don't know. Let me smell the bottom of it. Yeah, I don't really like it. Something about it is just smelling really fake and something about it's a little bit plasticky. Okay, so then I have Egyptian Amber. Because I like Egyptian Musk, so I wanted to try Egyptian Amber. And because they're so small, they're like 0.8 ounce, I thought, why not? If I don't like it, what a cold sniff, I could probably just give it away or de-stash it. Or something, but. Um, it's interesting, like I don't love it. I definitely like the Egyptian Musk better, but it's not bad. It smells like Egyptian musk mixed with heavy amber. So that's kind of what that is. And then the last one in this like perfumey floral is Amazing Grace. And this is a, a philosophy dupe. It's supposed to be white florals and musk. That's how she describes it on her website. I'm assuming it's probably a little bit more complicated on that, like than that if you go to like philosophy's website or Sephora's website and actually try to find the perfume notes. I quite like this. It's like a clean floral. It's nice. It's definitely a clean kind of just got out of the shower kind of scent. It's like a clean floral, yeah. I don't know how else to describe it. Okay. Then I'm going to move on to my citrus fragrances, which is definitely the largest group. So um, there are 15 of them. Let's get into them. So I have here Orange Grove. And Orange Grove is supposed to be just her straight up orange scent. And it's nice. It's a creamier orange. It kind of smells like a starburst orange, if I'm being honest. It's not like, I wouldn't say it's like a super like fresh, like wow, I just peeled an orange. I'm eating an orange right now. But I really like it. But it's definitely more of a starburst orange. But I definitely dig it. Like I would buy this in a large amount because I love me a good creamy orange. So yeah, there's that. Okay. Then I have orange chiffon, which is actually a little bit more of a bakery orange, but it's supposed to be an orange cake. It definitely, it actually is quite bakery, but it has orange in the name, so I have to put it with the citrus. Yeah, it's like an orange and like a birthday cake kind of blend. I'm literally getting crumbles everywhere. I can't. These ones specifically are so messy to open and close. Okay, then I have Lemonhead, which is supposed to be, like, the candy, obviously. Yeah, it definitely smells like a lemon hard candy. That one's really nice. Very authentic. Authentic to a good hard candy. And then I have Orange Dream, and this one is supposed to be a blend of orange and vanilla. And... What's interesting about this one is when I smell this one, this one smells a lot more like a fresh orange than the Orange Grove does. I feel like if this one and Orange Grove switched places, it would be a little bit more accurate. But yeah, I do get a little bit of that um, astringent vanilla. I don't know if like, if like what vanilla everyone's using, but for whatever reason, every time I smell vanilla, I feel like I always think it smells astringent. And I don't know if I'm just like going insane or what's happening, but maybe I'll have to warm it to really like it. But that seems like a lot. Um, then I have grapefruit mango, which is, I mean, grapefruit and mango. And this one's nice. Her grapefruit isn't like the really bad grapefruit that I don't like, but it's not very citrusy, I wouldn't say. I definitely get mango and a little bit of like. A, almost like a zest smell, but it's not necessarily like a grapefruit scent. 
Then I have Iced Orange Dippity, and Iced Orange Dippity is Serendipity Iced Orange Bakery. And I definitely get the Serendipity in this one. And I guess I get a little bit of like an orange bakery, but I do just mainly get that, um, like an orange and a serendipity. And I like that, obviously, because I like serendipity so much. <coughs> Sorry. Then I have, <coughs> oh, I have lemon dippity, and this is just lemon and serendipity. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Next time I purchase from that Smell Good shop, I really need a 12 pack in serendipity because that's just good okay then I have mandarin lime and mandarin lime is interesting like when I smell it I feel like it should have been a little bit more citrusy but it's not like it's not very citrusy at all I definitely get the lime and then I, it kind of smells like when you smell the outside of a fruit. Like, it doesn't smell like I cut open or I'm eating a fruit. It literally smells like I'm just sniffing, like, an orange without eating it, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like, it's very faint, and it's not even very um, citrusy or zesty or sour at all. It just kind of smells like I'm smelling, like, mandarin peel or something without it even being peeled. Like, just the outside. So then I just have plain lemongrass because I wanted to see how this one differed from Avobath. And yeah, it's a little bit more obviously like stronger on the lemongrass than like the other citruses. But either way, very similar. But I do love me a good lemongrass anyway, so I'm happy I got that. Then I have blood orange nectar, which is blood orange, black currant, and sangria. I really get the black currant in this one. Um, I don't really know what blood orange is supposed to smell like, but I definitely get like a really nice citrus kind of slightly orange-ish scent. It's definitely a little bit sweeter than like other oranges out there, but that's very nice. I don't know like what to say about some of these because some of these are very straightforward. Then I have Volcano and Volcano is supposed to be Orange is lime, lemon, sugar, and fruits, and I believe it's supposed to be like a perfume dupe or something. And yeah, it's very, very citrusy. Very fun. Okay. Then I have Orange Crush, which I believe is just supposed to smell like Crush, the soda. Um, and yeah, it kind of smells like Crush, the soda, but without like fizziness, because I don't think I really get a fizziness from that. But it smells pretty accurate, like when you open the crush can. Then I have her plain Satsuma. Hello. Okay. Whatever. It This one, I get like that B.O. smell. So that one's not a good Satsuma. I don't like that one. Here I have Fuzzy Orange, which is supposed to be orange and peach. I get the peach. I don't really get much of the orange. I, I mean, I do get it, but it's mostly strong on the peach, which is interesting. And then I have exotic grapefruit, whatever that's supposed to mean. It's grapefruit and sugar. And it's really nice. It's just like a really, really sour, really tart scent. Okay. So now I'm going to move into like my fruit, my bakery, sorry, my bakery blend. And so I have Blueberry Zinger, which is supposed to be Blueberry Coconut White Cake. And this one is so good. I just love her blueberry. I can't get over the blueberry. And the owner is Wendy. I can't get over her blueberry. So it's so good. And you get a nice cake scent. I don't really get like a coconut, but I do get like that cakey scent for sure. Then I have Blueberry Cookie. Again, really good. Just a really solid blueberry mixed with a sugar cookie. It's nice. I really, really like that. Then we have key lime pie. And this one... Yeah, it definitely... I don't know if it smells like a key lime pie, but it's definitely like a creamy lime scent with a slight bakery note to it. It's nice. Then we have down home muffins, which is supposed to be cornbread muffins. And it definitely, it smells very similar to zucchini bread. 
but like without that like I don't know it's a little bit different it's less creamy than zucchini bread in my opinion then I have blackberry thumbprint and this one is thumbprint cookies and blackberry jam yeah it's like a blackberry jam cookie scent really really nice we have strawberry muffins which is I mean what it is definitely more of a strawberry jam kind of strawberry with a slight I think it might be the cornbread muffins so that one's kind of like a strawberry zucchini bread kind of smell then I have banana pudding and this one is uh, like a banana caramel scent so I was not expecting any caramel I thought it was just gonna be like straight banana pudding but I guess not then I have jelly donut um, I don't think there was a description for which kind of jelly, but it, it, yeah, it definitely smells like some kind of sweet berry kind of bakery. I don't really get like a straight up donut smell and there's no spice in it, which is nice, but it's definitely more of just like a slightly bakery berry scent, but there's no like distinct like, oh, that's a cookie or, oh, that's a donut smell. Then I have strawberry cake. And it's just really strong on the strawberry jam. So that's that one. Then I have lemon thumbprint. Which is thumbprint cookies and lemon. Really nice. The lemon in here is quite fresh. Kind of similar to like a fizzy pop lemon scent. Where it's kind of like that really bright um, citrus. And then the rest of these are kind of seasonal scents. So anything that would be fall or winter because I did purchase this one um like earlier in the year and then I just ended up getting it now obviously um because these were uh custom these were the when she had when she was still doing custom orders um and now she's closed she's changed her system to ready to ship and then she opens for customs every once in a while so this one is candied apple, and candied apple is spiced apple cotton candy. I really like that apple scent. It's really creamy. I feel like I get a little bit of a caramel scent in there, but it's really nice. It might just be the cotton candy that's giving off that car caramelly scent, but it's nice. Then we have All Hallows Eve, and All Hallows Eve is pumpkin, orange, berries, spices, and vanilla. It's definitely very spicy. I get the spices, I get the pumpkin. I don't really know if I can smell anything more. Not that I'd want to. I hate cinnamon. Okay, then I have pumpkin souffle. And this one is pumpkin butter sugar spices. I quite like this one. It's not too strong on the spices. I really get the pumpkin, the butter, and the sugar. And then the spices is a little bit more in the background, but it's not like a sweet spice. Then I have blue spruce, which definitely smells like a spruce tree. I don't even need to smell that to know. Then I have pumpkin creme puff, which is pumpkin vanilla cream. And it's a really nice creamy pumpkin scent. That one's really, really, really nice. Then I have pumpkin fluff, which is pumpkin and spice marsh. Sorry, pumpkin spice and marshmallow. It's definitely stronger on the marshmallow and the pumpkin, the spice, kind of. I can't really pick it up too much, so that one might be really nice. Then I have Cranberry Delight, and this is just plain, straight-up cranberry. It's nice. It's a lot sweeter than a lot of other cranberries that I've smelt. Um, it's a little bit more of like a candy cranberry, so that one will be interesting. Then I have Farmhouse Cider, and Farmhouse Cider is... Gingered citrus, berries, apple, pomegranate. Gingered citrus. I've never heard of that in like a fragrance. Um, this one's interesting. I don't really like it. Uh, nah. It definitely just kind of smells like a medley of cider fruits. Then the last one I have is in Tis This Season. And this one is spiced apples, berries, and pine. I get the berries. I get the spiced apple. I don't really get the pine so far on cold, so we might have to see once it warms. 
So yes, that is everything that I purchased from that small goods shop. This is actually officially the last haul that I have to make. I'm very happy because I no longer have to sit on my floor and make videos. I can't sit on a chair or on my bed. Finally, now that I'm done. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed all of my hauls because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be uploading them consecutively, one after the other. So yeah, thank you for watching my videos and I hope you guys enjoy my content or whatever. I don't know. What do, what do YouTubers say? I don't know. Okay. I'm too tired for this. Ooh, my back hurts too much for this. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys.